The DDJ Flex 10 DJ controller has a stem feature called Parts Instant Double. But how differently does it work between Rekordbox and Serato? Hello everyone, I'm Priyan Joni from Pioneer DJ and in this video, I'm going to show you how Parts Instant Double works on both Rekordbox and Serato and the differences between the software so you can get creative with your 4-deck stem mixing. So first, what exactly is stem separation or track separation? This is the ability to take a single music track and break it down to three or four individual parts, separating the drums, bass, instruments, and vocals. This is a feature on both Rekordbox and Serato, and on Rekordbox, it's a three-part individual track separation, and on Serato, it's four stems of separation. So what's parts instant doubles? A traditional instant double is the option to copy and paste a playing track from one deck to another. A parts instant double does something similar with the track parts. Instead of copying and pasting an entire playing track from one deck to another, Parts Instant Double instead cuts and pastes individual stem parts. So if I start with a single track on deck one and I instant double the vocals to deck two by holding shift and double clicking vocals, I will now have the vocal track on deck two with the instrumental on deck one. You can do this with any individual stem, and by default, this basic way to use it is the same on both Serato and Rekordbox. But when we deep dive, there are differences between the software when it comes to how it relates to Deck 3 and Deck 4. Let's start with Rekordbox. If you go into your Rekordbox preferences, go to Extensions, and then click the tab Track Separation, you'll see the area where it says Parts Instant Doubles, and the default setting is Left Right Decks. So what this means in this setting is that parts instant doubles can only be done with decks that are across from each other. So if you look on the record box interface, that means deck one and deck two are the only direction you can take parts instant doubles. And additionally, that means you can only parse instant doubles between deck three and deck four. So if I have a track on deck one, I can parse instant double into deck two only, vice versa, the opposite direction. And again, same goes for deck three, going to deck four and back and forth. In the left right setting, you can't cross between deck one and deck three, as well as deck two and deck four. Now let's switch the setting to up down. This time, instead of being able to parts instant double to decks that are across from each other, the decks on top and bottom of each other are where the parts instant doubles can be done. Up. Now it's between deck one and three, as well as between deck two and four. Now here's something unique you can do when you perform parts instant double with the up down setting. Say you do a parts instant double of the vocal from deck two to deck four. You can manipulate each deck independently with a deck select button. But if you enable a feature called dual deck by holding shift and clicking the deck select buttons, deck control of deck two and four are now locked together. So now you're controlling deck two and four together, which are a split of each part as if it's one track. Additionally, you can control the EQ, volume, and effects of each part individually on the mixer section. So if you do this combination of parts instant double with dual deck on both sides, you can do a four deck routine with just two songs and two jog wheels. This gives you a lot of creative freedom to come up with your own unique performances. Now on Serato DJ Pro, Parts Instant Double is a little different. There is no setting that allows you to change the direction or to go directly up and down with the Instant Double. You can't go between one and three or between two and four. The direction of Parts Instant Double will always be across left and right, but the deck it lands on on that one side can either be up or down, meaning 
It can go either across or diagonal. Let me explain. Say we start with a track on deck one. I can perform a parts instant double of the vocal into deck two. But I can also do the same parts instant double into deck four as well. The deck it lands on depends on which deck I have selected. Right now I have deck two selected, but if I take the deck select button and switch it to four, and now you see four highlighted, I can now make the parts instant double land on four. So it always depends which deck is selected and you can see it highlighted on the Serato interface. So let's start with the track on deck one and then we're gonna select deck four. So we play that. And now we have vocal on channel four with the instrumental on channel one. What if you wanna use dual deck like we did with record box and have a split of vocals and an instrumental on one side? Well, it's really simple. Start with a track on deck one. Parts instant double the vocal track onto deck two. Then select deck four on the right side. Now parse instant double the drums and activate the instrument. Enable dual deck for deck two and four. Now you have link control of split tracks on deck two and four. So which parts instant double workflow works for you? Let us know in the comments below. If you wanna find out more about the DJ Flex 10 DJ controller or see more products from Pioneer DJ, be sure to visit our website at pioneerdj.com or catch us on our social media channels at Pioneer DJ USA. Thanks for watching.